This story is not going away. Hillary Clinton was supposed to spend the month of March gearing up for an April presidential announcement with speeches to friendly audiences and I'm staying above the fray. Dad. Do you have Hillary Clinton's new email address? <laughs> uh, I can't share it with you. <laughs> Instead, she is, yet again, in the middle of a political and media circus. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Leading even some of her Democratic supporters to worry that her new campaign, like her handling of the controversy over her private email system, will be insular and lawyerly, slow to respond, and quick to go off message. I believe I have all of my responsibilities and the server um, will remain uh, private. And some Democrats are publicly and privately wringing their hands about the familiar drama, an often contentious relationship with the press forged in the 1992 campaign. This will test the character of the press. It is not only my character that has been tested. Lines of attack powered by a familiar cast of characters. It's a ludicrous and it's a silly story. Uh, it's a story that's being driven by tabloid journalism. A lot of cockamamie, goofy stuff. A habit of providing the bare minimum, even to defenders, and a penchant for secrecy. You just told us you didn't follow the rules because having two separate email addresses would be way too big a pain in the ass. But you know what is a far bigger pain in the ass? Trying to delete 30,000 emails. Clinton remains the Democrat with the most fundraising potential, the best chance of holding Obama's coalition together, and of being a barrier-breaking candidate. And her allies argue the drama will subside once she has a full-fledged political operation. There's not a big presidential campaign with 20 people in an office who can return all the calls and Xerox all the statements, so that's bumpy. And yet some Democrats are openly wondering if a contested primary is actually a good thing for her.